guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new M1 iPad Pro 12.9 inch. So let's get into it. Okay, already um, I've had the iPad for maybe 12 hours max and I've been loving it. So as you can see, I've customized my little iPad here, which is not so little, it's 12.9 inch, which is crazy big for me. But I really actually enjoyed my purchase for getting the 20 or 12.9 inch because it's pretty big. You know, the HDR display stuff, pretty nice. And to be honest, it's not as heavy as people thought it would be or made it seem like to me at least. So I really enjoy it. Um, now, I've never used a my old iPad was actually an iPad Air 2. So for me, this is a big, big upgrade because the iPad Air 2 has been like it's like six years old. So i'm really excited to try this one out it's also compatible with the apple pencil and it takes ages for me to get it out there we go like that so that's pretty exciting um i did get mine engraved with my name as you can see but i'm gonna cover up i got it with my name um i think my favorite feature is the scribble feature because it's like pretty nice to just go through and get stuff scribbled um <clears throat> and with note taking it's pretty fun so i'm gonna start off with doing the scribble so if we go to um here what is this safari it's really easy you can just kind of google or you can write on the search bar instead of typing it so let me show you how that's done and ignore like the reflection of my uh homemade tripod so let's see what do we want to write um well, let's just search up Apple. So if we go here and write Apple, um, it comes up right there and you can click that or the little search button on the bottom. And it like has all of Apple stuff, which I think is cool. You can go back to the search bar, squiggle it out and like, let's write um, iOS 15. Oh, that's an I. See this go button right here, which I love. You can click and it takes you to the iOS 15 world, which I think is really cool. So I love the scribble feature a lot because, I mean, I feel like you don't need it until you get it and then you're like, I want it super bad. So this was really nice because now I don't even type. I just kind of write it out. And it's pretty nice to work with it like that. <clears throat> Um, another feature I love is like taking notes on Notability. Um, you can lean your like, you know, palm rejection has finally been fixed. So like I can lean my um, like hand on it and write. Kind of like that. Um, which is pretty dope because, you know, taking notes online, definitely this would have been helpful. Any other stylus, you know, if you would put like, you know, your hand there, it wouldn't write that nicely. So that's pretty cool about the apple pencil and i really do like that feature a lot another thing i really love is about the apple pencils double tap as you can see you focus right on there you see how it's on the writing tool if i double tap it goes to the eraser tool which i think is pretty dope still getting used to it but eventually you would get used to it so if i say erase oh i spelled that oh no why did i put a z erase me and then double tap wow. so that's pretty cool love that it's with pretty much all writing apps and anything that can require double tap so i think that's pretty dope as well um now let's launch up a application like procreate and click on this and let's play around so i love how the like uh what is it called the pressure sensi sensitivity helps with it. So I love like that because I had it on my iPad Air 2 and the pressure sensitivity was super bad. So if we go to calligraphy and let's choose the brush pen. If I do light strokes, it's kind of like that. Darker strokes, kind of like that. Um, and if we increase the size a bit, calligraphy. I think that looks really cool. I'm not really good at it. I just know how to do H's, <laughs> but that's about it. Um, but I think it's really cool. The, you know, the entire like 
version of just how you can do it with just an Apple Pencil at this point. One thing I hate about the Apple Pencil, and this is a very thing I wish they will add, hopefully, is like sliding out of an app with the Apple Pencil. When I'm like taking notes, like right now, I'm, I did this actually on recording just a bit ago. Like, you know, I'm taking something notes, right? And I need to get out of the app. I like always try to do this and you can't do that. You have to use a finger to swipe out. For me, that's like a downer side because I feel like if you have the pencil and it can do so much, it should be able to do like swiping out of apps and stuff much better. I can't get to my control center without using my hand, which I think is really sad. Um, so I think that's the one thing I would really hate about it. So regarding over my case, I'm just using a folio case. Um, not anything special. As you can see, folio like that. Um, it does have a compartment of putting the Apple Pencil so that it can charge right there. But other than that, it's a pretty normal case um it has a clear back but i have my name engraved in the back so i don't want to show that but it's pretty nose the only thing i have an issue with this one is getting the apple pencil out it takes me centuries but other than that i think it's not a bad um ipad at all let's open it with my face quickly so overall my thoughts i give it a 10 out of 10 for pretty much everything besides few things the apple pencil amazing only recommendation is to be able to swipe out of apps and access control or control center um and then i think other than that it's amazing the price point you really do have to look at it's you know kind of a give and take the apple website i think it's like 749 for the 11 inch for ipad pro or is it 800 i don't know i'll have it on the screen right now and it's about what it starts at 1099 to get the 12.9 inch base model with no like data or anything i got personally if you want to know my specs it's 12.9 um just wi-fi and 128 gigs which i feel like i'm gonna regret because my ipad is kind of filling up fast <laughs> but it's fine and then adding the apple pencil to it it was 129 dollars, i believe so that gave um a little more price point but i definitely recommend if you're buying the uh ipad get the apple pencil it's an experience right there it looks really nice together and they are magnetic which i think is probably the best thing they've done love that um but i think that's all for my review um expect more videos on it i think it'll be really fun to do some more fun videos using this ipad i'm gonna have a procreate review coming out but other than that i think i'm done um really enjoying it so i think that's all for today's video if you have any questions definitely leave them down in the comments down below and i will for sure answer it and yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.